for just $19,995. Good morning. Thanks for starting your weekend with us. Georgia is on the mind of voters everywhere, with the Senate candidates facing off in their first and likely only debate last night. The high stakes race there could decide control of the Senate. It's October 15th. This is today. A bruising night in the Peach State. Georgia's Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock face to face with his Republican challenger Herschel Walker. The two battling one another on everything from the economy to policing. Walker's own personal life also under scrutiny with questions whether he paid for an ex to have an abortion. I'll be a senator that protects life. And I said that was a lie and I'm not backing down. Demanding answers. I think I heard three or four gunshots. Okay. There are people yeah. screaming. New 911 calls released overnight reveal the chaos and confusion during a shooting rampage that left five people dead in Raleigh, North Carolina. A 15 year old suspect in custody as police and grieving family members try to figure out why this tragedy happened. Cat scratch fever. Some conservative political candidates and elected officials under fire this morning for spreading the false claim that schools are providing kitty litter boxes for students who identify as cats. This morning, dissecting misinformation. All that plus, there's no Hogwarts without Hagrid. Rubius Hagrid, keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Robbie Coltrane, the actor best known for playing the lovable giant in the Harry Potter movies, died on Friday at 72. How his co-stars are remembering him today, Saturday, October 15th, 2022. From NBC News, this is Today with Peter Alexander and Kristen Welker. Welcome to today. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday morning. I think there is a generation of kids and dare I say adults who feel <laughs> like they grew up with that gentle half giant Hagrid. Robbie Coltrane's going to be missed. He sure is. Those who knew him described him as boisterous and eccentric and we will look back at his life and his legacy. Yeah, what we do have a lot to cover this morning, especially in the world of politics with questions swirling about whether former President Trump will answer that subpoena to appear before the January 6th committee. Mr. Trump did respond with a scathing letter slamming the committee, but never actually said if he would appear. Meantime, the Republican Senate candidate in Georgia, backed by President Trump, Herschel Walker, appeared on stage with incumbent Democratic candidate Raphael Warnock for their only debate overnight. Georgia is one of at least three crucial battleground states with very high stakes Senate race at stake there. They could determine whether the Democrats retain control or if the Republicans will take it away. So we want to begin this morning with NBC's Ellison Barber. She's in Savannah with a wrap up of last night's big showdown. Ellison, good morning. Good morning, Peter. This is